Clover <laughs> World. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Who? Ah, Marie, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anyone? Oh, it was, it was <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, but why, why is it question marks? I don't know. Ah, Marie, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Orion. Yeah. Oh, good. You still remember it, what we talked about in between worlds. And you look like you're fine. I'm relieved. For now, at least. Alright, enough fooling around. I'll just tell you again. My name is Orion. You wow, remember, Wow, choices right? matter. <laughs> I'm going to be your spirit partner from now on, so let's get going. Now then, we're going to talk to your family first, right? Hearing information from your family would fill in the blanks in your memories. But the only problem is... It looks like you live here in this place all by yourself. You see, while you were sleeping, I took a look around. It looks to me like your place is a studio apartment. Nice lighting, large storage space, separate bathroom, inner laundry, and the building's not too old. There's an intercom with a monitor, and from this button here, I'd say your apartment unit has its own auto lock and code. <laughs> I'm, uh, what I'm thinking is, <laughs> like Orion doesn't even come from this world, but he's like, this is a studio apartment and has a self lock. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like you shouldn't even know this shit. Alright, uh, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get like our apartment's gonna get broken into or something. Oh. Otherwise, like what reason is it? Like oh, the security's really good. Like, no. <laughs> Looks like the Something's... security is pretty good. Yeah, 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 you're right. Just judging from your appearance, you seem to be either high school or college age. The problem is that you have no relatives relatives nearby to talk to. I don't know if you're just living alone for now or if you're alone in this world. What? Who is alone in this world, buddy? Hey, how, how does it feel when you look around your room? Can you remember anything? <laughs> Choices matter. <laughs> I can't remember anything, nothing looks familiar. No, let's... Let's say nothing looks familiar. Yeah, it doesn't sound so negative. No. Wait, is there a possibility that this isn't your room? Ugh, if we start going in that direction, we'll be going for a while. It'd be strange though, if to wear pajamas and be sleeping in someone's room. For now, why don't you look around the room, like in your drawers and stuff? I can't touch the human world, so I haven't been able to check in there. What I was able to figure out by looking around was that you live alone and that it's sometime in August. See, your calendar, calendar, calend calendar, <laughs> calendar, calendar, it's at August right now. For August, the weather's actually pretty nice. For August, August is like the warmest month. <laughs> like, it's pretty mm. nice for August, you know? <laughs> anyway, see if you can search your room for any clues. Let's do the drawers. I feel like we have to do everything else. Yeah, 100%. Pens, stationery, envelopes, sigh. Nothing here to tell us what kind of person you were. What is it in the bed, though? Hmm, just random stuff here. Nothing much to see. Hmm? What's this in the back? This is just a girly comic book. You don't have to hide this. Like, what does the bed tell, tell us about us, you know? Mm. Or the air conditioner. Let me look at my air conditioner and see if it like <laughs> reminds me of something. <laughs> it's the bed you were just sleeping in. Even though you were just sleeping, it's so neat. Now that I think of it, you instinctive, instinctively made your bed as soon as you woke up, huh? Just tells us that we're a freak. <laughs> you were sleeping with the air conditioner on. That's why it feels so nice in here. Makes sense. <laughs> Wow. Trash can is useful. Mm, it's just full of empty snack boxes. Yes, oh wow! Hat stand. Like we can t see this already. It's like a hat stand. <laughs> yeah, she can see that. Like the Orion. Mm -hmm. Nothing that looks like an album. If there were picture, if there were pictures that could trigger some strong memories, hmm. The rest just looks like a lot of difficult books. Basic psychology, current clinical psychology, like this tells us that we're probably studying this. Yeah. Huh, where are you so- oh, <laughs> alright, you smarty. Were you <laughs> studying psychology for school? Were you working on an essay for school? Oh, a notebook, let's check it out later. Later. <laughs> 
You know, no offense, but these hat look kind of out of season. It's August, so I think you should have more summer hats out. Is it just me? Are there summer hats? <laughs> the back. Hey! There's your school ID. Only how cute he looks. Alright, this should tell us a lot of information. Oh, he's not amused. It looks like your name was exactly as you remembered it after all. Also, you're a college student, first year psychology major. Your school's address is here too. Looks like you'll be able to keep going for, to school for now. Hmm, wait, it's August right now. Isn't it summer break then? <sighs> Even though I'm a spurred, I seem to know a lot about when school... Yeah, you seem to know not a lot about the world again. <laughs> Come on. I'm pretty knowledgeable about human life, aren't I? Wait, that means we're so lucky. You're free during this month. We might get get your memories back before you're exposed to other people's cruelty and greed. Meeting more people might help you remember, but it'd also be easier to get tricked, so... It's really lucky that you can move around during summer break like this. Let's shoot for the end of the month. Well, I don't mind meeting other people. You're still saying that? Listen, if you keep being so naive, you'll be tricked by someone terrible human sooner than you think. <laughs> someone terrible human. 99% <laughs> of the human race thinks of nothing but satisfying their own greed. I've heard lots of scary stories from someone who, who's invited the human world before too. So then, don't let your guard down. Don't let yourself get tricked. Alright then, let's see. Oh, I spy a cell phone. This is it, the ultimate source of info. Let's check out what is in it. What What's in it? You might remember something from your phone history. I hope there's a clear names. I hope there are clear names in there like mom or dad or my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new info alert. Uh, oh, new info already. Looks like today's August 1st. Let's see, they displayed on the screen. All right, we have an entire month of summer break. Yay. August 1st. All right, let's take a look through your address book. Maybe we can find some phone numbers of your family members. If we really need to, you should even call everyone just to say hello or something. They probably offer at least a little information. A cell phone really is a treasure trove of information. Wait, what? Your address book has 1,250 entries? Is, is it it's in the four digit range? You must have had a lot of friends. Oh, there are a lot of numbers for things like the dentist and school. I see, I see. Still, that's no reason to have this many entries. You kept track of way too many numbers. Hmm, if you called every entry in this address book, you'd probably find hidden information somewhere, but... Well, we don't know anything about them, so we don't have time for speculation. Next, your message history. Wait, huh? Five messages received? Total? You have 1,250 end contracts recorded in here, yet you only have five received messages? Maybe you were actually a pretty lonely girl. Uh, sorry, I won't ask you about that. Yeah, because anyway. we know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wonder if the five messages are from your friends. Oh, they're all from the same person. And wait, what's that? This? The oldest one is from three days ago. I got it now. I'm sure you just bought a new phone a little while ago. Just look closely. This phone is still shiny and pretty much brand new. It looks like you just got it. You just bought this th three days ago, so you only received five messages so far. That makes sense. Next, we should check the contacts of these five messages. First, let's check the messages... Let's check the message you received right after you got your new phone. Good night. Can't. Oh. Can't good night. <laughs> you wanted to say it's one thing. <laughs> it's really simple. Oh, maybe you're just really close to this person? Whatever, let's go to the next message. Now, that could the second message could contain. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's simple too. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be your type of guy. Oh my god. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, come on. You're just getting the same messages from the same person at around the same time every day. 